Hey everyone, welcome to another video. And in this video, we will be talking to Jay. Jay paid off over $80,000 of loan within first year of his job, uh, right after his graduation within the first year. So we have Jay, he'll talk about how he paid all of that and a lot more. Jay, would you like to introduce yourself? Where are you from? What did you study? Where did you study and what, where are you working right now? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Jay. I, uh, I am a product marketing manager currently working at NVIDIA headquarters in San Jose. I did my master's in CS with a focus on machine learning from uh, Illinois Tech Chicago. I started my master's journey in 2018 and I got my degree in 2020, after which I joined NVIDIA. And before master's, uh, I did my bachelor's in computer engineering and straight away came to US uh, uh, for doing my master's. Where, where did you do your undergrad from? Yeah, I did my uh, undergrad from Pune University uh, from 2014 to 2018. Awesome. That's great, man. Did you get any internships uh, during your time at IIT Chicago? Sure. Uh, that's a good question. So since I, I came directly after, in my uh, bachelor's uh, in US, I had no work experience and I was eyeing out for ML and AI jobs. And as this is a current industry trend or hype area, people need or companies are requiring work experience. And, and coming up with no background to US, that, uh, that was difficult for me to get an internship, but I kept trying and somehow I got an uh, uh, unpaid internship uh, during my summers which was a machine learning fellowship. I did that, that uh, got some work experience under my belt and uh, by which I got a paid internship or paid research internship at BMW headquarters for their manufacturing plant uh, in South Carolina. So yeah, it all helped, uh, although it was unpaid, but it helped me build my resume, which was beneficial for my next internship. Tell us how much did it cost to you to study in IIT Chicago? What was your idea? Yeah. What was your tuition fee? And then what was like average living expenses every month? So the tuition fee uh, for uh, IIT Chicago was somewhere around $16,000 for uh, a semester. And the I-20 amount was somewhere close to $60,000 for the first year. Okay. And if you talk about my living expense, that depends. I used to share a room uh, in a two bedroom apartment. Uh, which costed me around $350 just for the rent. And with all other utilities, it came out to be $500. And with other groceries and phone bills, it came out to be $600 per month uh, as a student. Yeah. Okay, so $350 for rent. And then another... Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, which includes like... Well, or the Chicago... You, you guys, like I've been to IIT Chicago's campus. It's pretty awesome. Like you guys are right, right on the south side. A little dangerous. Yes. The south yeah. Side. So, but it yeah. sounds close. So that's definitely nice. So who did you take out the loan from and what was the amount of the loan? What was like the bank or a private company you took out the loan from? Correct. Correct. Uh, so my loan amount, I had two loans. Uh, so one loan was from Avance India, which was uh, in INR, and the amount was 30 lakh Indian rupees. And the second loan uh, to support my education while I was here uh, was from Prodigy. Uh, it was for a semester and the loan amount was 20,000 uh, US dollars. Um, what was and the interest rate on both of them? So the uh, uh, interest rate for Avance, it was 14.2%. And for Prodigy, it was 6.04, which was uh, pretty good compared to the Indian loan. This is like something I want to, you know, pitch in the middle that, let's say you're taking a loan from a private company and it's a non-collateral one. So you can still take out a loan from somebody else. And like, it is okay. Good that you took out a loan rather than be mm -hmm. like taking out by the third semester when you don't have a money, don't have any money to pay for your tuition. And it's not you, it's a lot of students who are in the same. Group. And I always encourage like, don't go for a private loan or don't go for like, um, you know, some of the US companies will give you loan for a very high interest rate, like 20%. Correct. So I always encourage like, go back to your roots, like Prodigy is a great company, giving out loans to students, even in the middle of the semester. Um, plus we have a scholarship going on. We like work with them for 
you know, my viewers, mm-hmm. there's like a $15,000 scholarship uh, going on right now. I'll leave that link in description. But you have a 14% and a 6%. And you said 30 lakhs from Avance. And then how much uh, from Prodigy? It was $20,000, US dollars. Okay, so that's 16, 15 lakhs around at that time? Correct, correct. Yeah. So yeah. your total yeah. loan is 45 Yes, somewhere close to 45 lakh without interest. Yeah, it was really hard being a student without uh, no experience. Uh, so it was really hard or I was struggling uh, to think like, how will I be able to uh, pay back this loan amount? But what I saw was uh, for uh, to get a job, you have to uh, basically put yourself out there. And to do that, uh, I, I knew that I had the skill. It's just that nobody knows me or nobody in the industry knows my skills. Uh, uh, skills and ability so to cover that part uh, so I was fortunate enough that I was uh, living close to downtown Chicago and I came up across came across this app called meetup uh, where I used to find uh, tech, uh, tech meetups every day that used to happen in uh, that used to happen in Chicago downtown so it, it became my routine I used to network a lot uh, so starting from Monday to Friday I used to find uh, every kind of meetup that is happening in tech, uh, whether it could be web, ML, or just Android, uh, anything. So I used to visit all kinds of offices. Uh, I used to meet with people, network, uh, share my information. That helped me a lot. And that gave me confidence. Even if I don't work uh, part-time, uh, I can just take a loan, build my profile, network, and uh, it eventually it will uh, land me a job, which happened. And yeah, I'm happy that I took the uh, risk. And yeah, I just uh, believe in yourself and you'll get there. So when you were coming to IIT, you had a big loan of 30 lakhs. Were you scared? What was going in your mind? Right? Like, I, I'll tell you what happened to me. When I, was, I was like, shit, it's such a big loan. It's like 40 lakhs with everything, all my semester fees and three semesters and everything. I like like 40, 45 lakhs. Like what is going to happen if I am not able to pay it back? Correct. If I don't get a job, if I don't get an internship, like I was definitely very scared uh, to take what was going in your mind. Right, right. That's a good question. So uh, from my childhood, I, I I was tech enthusiast. I used to watch all the keynotes uh, that used to happen in Silicon Valley. So this was my dream uh, coming to US. And to be honest, I had uh, no line of sight uh, for uh, paying back my loan or I was just enjoying that I... Uh, I wanted to be in US growing up and I'm here now and it's time to uh, work on myself by doing the degree, by doing the extracurricular activities or just networking and uh, build my path towards that dream job. So I was enjoying the ride, I would say. Uh, There was a bit of a uh, fear about what if I don't get a job uh, with the COVID coming in and everything. But I think it's a part of process like you have to enjoy the process otherwise it just gets too difficult so I would say I was enjoying the process uh, in learning new stuff uh, learning about technology AI what's happening in the industry sharing with everyone else uh, in the community so uh, I I would say it was more of an excitement than fear uh, about that loan Uh, I I had some faith that I would be able to pay off uh, eventually yeah Looking back, it all makes sense, right? Yes. Now, it's like yes. super easy. You paid it off and it's like, this is the best decision I took. But when you are like coming into college, it's very scary. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, you're you right. Like that, when you see the campus and when you see the opportunities, it's presenting. Mm-hmm. It feels like you're paying the correct amount for something, which is amazing. Correct, 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 correct. And when you are over it, like it makes all sense. Like uh, you, you are really satisfied about the amount that you have paid and and the effort that you have put in. It all makes sense at the end. So yeah, uh, like uh, advice for newcomers: it's just uh, come to US, do everything that uh, you need to do to get a job, to build your profile, and enjoy the process. That's how you'll uh, make it. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Once you got a job, right? I'm sure like the happiest person because you also graduated in 2020. Correct. E-COVID, 
how was like the environment at the college like it was everybody freaking out what was going on correct correct that's a good question and fair question for all the uh, graduates who uh, made it or graduated during covid so touchwood i was really really uh, uh, lucky that i started interview and uh, interviewing on uh, starting december 20 uh, december 2019 just a semester before i was going to graduate so i i kept the interview cycles going and i got my offer uh, in mid feb and the covid uh, uh, the covid fear started kicking in uh, during end of february and everything was shut down uh, in first week of march so i got the job offer right before everything started closing out and shut down and after that my batch uh, like they suffered a lot because companies were laying off and there was immense fear about what this new virus uh, people were uh, inside st- people were stuck uh, in their home uh, everything was online and there was some uh, panic going on in every student's ma- uh, mind that uh, what's happening how will i get a job this is the semester that i uh, prepared for like for last the semester closing um, out uh, my grades on a and then getting internship but this is not working out so it was a huge huge panic situation for all the students uh, during my uh, yeah during my time so were you scared that you know what if like nvidia revokes the offer yes i was scared because uh, other companies were uh, uh, rescinding their offers uh, for new grads because new grads are the one yes you got uh, new grads are the one who are let go first before uh, let uh, letting go the experienced professionals so i was scared a lot i was in touch with my manager during uh, those four months and he may, uh, made sure uh, uh, yeah he made sure that uh, it wouldn't be happening and media was at good place uh, at that time so everything worked out for me you know most of the tech companies are still at a good place like yeah over like they made a lot of money in covid and they had a lot of people and i think everybody started freaking out about recession and it kind of like the interest rates went up and there's still a lot of talk like something's going to happen but it just yeah right they did make a lot of money like during those 2 3 years where everybody was just using yeah right correct and the yeah yeah and the problem i felt there was the uh, hiring i guess they over hired people during that phase uh, they they were uh, projecting the sales or uh, the usage maybe it will grow over time say, uh, after covid but that didn't happen and fortunately uh, nvidia doesn't hire lot of people so globally it just 26000 employees who are working around, around the clock uh, at nvidia compared yeah. to other in, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, other semiconductor or tech companies who have like over 100000 employees so it's just a quarter of uh, those and yeah it i i feel grateful to be working at nvidia yeah. that's definitely showing like how like cuz apple also didn't lay off anybody if i'm not wrong correct 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 that's it, correct yeah there are few companies which have not laid off anybody and like it shows how the companies are like very they have very solid foundations yes in media yeah. would be one did qualcom like lay off people no i guess uh, all the semiconductor companies apart from intel were at a good place or even they didn't lay off on like laid off a few people i know okay few, okay semiconductor laid off maybe I, i know like a few tech companies which are very very just have strong foundations they're not going to lay you off like if they are hiring you they are hiring you for long term so always you you might see more money in twitter or facebook or like other fan companies right but mm-hmm. then they're ready to fire you as soon as like amazon laid off yeah done like, yeah do you think amazon doesn't have money amazon have money but they're just ready to cut off the advertising yeah um anyways coming back you got a job you you want to give us like a ballpark figure uh, or a range what's your salary salary when you got hired yeah so uh, i have a six figure salary and i'll give you a range between yeah. it's between 120k to 160k okay and let's talk about like how were you able to pay off 
85,000 of loan amount within one year. Like, what was your mindset like? What were you thinking that, hey, I'm going to just pay it off as quickly as possible? What was going in your mind? And like, were you watching some kind of Dave Dave Ramsey show where he's just talking about like paying off debt again and again? What was going in your mind? Uh, After I got the job, I had just one goal to pay off uh, the student debt. And uh, I... So, and this was my first job. So I never had a loan uh, apart from this. Uh, and there was a thing in my mind that debts are bad. Uh, you shouldn't have a debt. Uh, so it was kind of an itching bug <laughs> on top of me, which I wanted to get rid of. So I did everything to pay off my loan first, and uh, which meant uh, so I, I got a relocation uh, package as part of my whole compensation as well as joining uh, bonus or signing bonus. So I st- uh, straight away took that amount and uh, paid it back uh, to India or the okay. other loan yeah, institute good. which I had. Yeah, so the loan amount uh, or the first uh, amount that I paid back or the first EMI was, I guess, it was close to 15,000 US dollars. Uh, yeah, so uh, that was without my first check, uh, paycheck. Uh, so I, I got that done. And then after with my bi-weekly paychecks, I just used to uh, put out or set aside my uh, living expenses, which was close to $1,000 a month. Other than that, I uh, straight away just uh, sent it back uh, to India for the avance loan. Uh, and I got done with the avance loan, which was almost 60000 US dollars uh, in seven months. And uh, then I started paying back my other loan, which was Prodigy Finance, uh, and it was 20,000 US dollars. And I paid that uh, in, I guess, uh, five months. So it was all done uh, under a year. Yeah. What was your parents' reaction? Seeing like you're sending so much money for your loan repayment? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they uh, they didn't had much idea. I had a NRE NRO uh, bank uh, account set up uh, in India, so I I just used to send that money into that account, and that used to get uh, sent to the uh, loan institu- institution. So they had no idea about uh, how much money is being sent. I just told them after a year that hey, I am debt free now, uh, and but and they were surprised because it, it was a huge amount. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, they were happy. I was happy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Were you tempted to buy, like, were you tempted that, you know, I'm, let's say I'm getting like eight, nine thousand dollars in my bank account or ten thousand dollars in my bank account? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, sh- I should buy, like, the, you know, I should buy a gaming console or like the biggest TV Correct. or like move into a nicer apartment in downtown or go out and. <laughs> Were you correct? Like, those temptations talk about that. Correct, correct. So that's a good question. So why, uh, why before I was paying off loan, I uh, before I was joining my job, I read ton of books. Uh, like uh, one of those would be "I'll Teach You to Be Rich" by Ramit Sethi and endless, endless uh, Dave Ramsey shows. So what I learned was to be frugal uh, uh, with what you don't like and uh, spend endless or spend freely uh, about what you like so uh, du- uh, during those phase I got really frugal and that uh, uh, that was a habit that got formed during that phase and at the end of the loan payment cycle uh, after I cleared the debt I had no such uh, temptations to buy anything uh, of that kind but I did get a, a oculus uh, meta uh, uh, yeah oculus quest to console which was uh, $200 but it was fine after that I started uh, uh, budgeting and investing in stocks and other assets so yeah I'm yeah. not that huge of a spender I'm frugal <laughs> that's awesome man that's like that's one thing I tell everybody is like pay off your debts as quickly as possible because let's say you wouldn't you still add stem extension some people don't have yeah. did you get h1b already yes so I got my h1b in the second lottery yeah. yeah, but like, let's say you don't get H-1B and you have three years of your visa here and then you have to move to another country. You're at least like saving all of that. What do you, now that your loans are paid off, how do you, do you invest your money? Do you contribute to 401k? What does it look like for you? Yeah, so I invest most of my money. So uh, first is this 401k. I did uh, set aside some part of my salary 
I guess it's around 10%. Uh, then I invest an in employee stock purchase program. So I set aside, uh, I guess, 10 or 15% of my salary to purchase my employer's stock uh, at a discount. Okay. And then I tried to invest in index fund funds monthly, uh, which have been uh, 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 which have been spread over multiple industries, healthcare, tech, uh, and things like that. And then at, at the last, I try to uh, invest, or I, I would try to experiment with bitcoins and other uh, new asset classes. So yeah, that's my break. So it'd be fair to say that you have like oh, it's been two years since you have paid off loan. You have like over 100K invested already. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you, man. That's awesome. That's like the way to go. Put investments and 401k, uh, Roth IRA account, like set up all of this Correct. money away and then spend whatever is remaining. Don't do it the other way because then you'll Correct. you'll never get to it. Um, Correct. What's like your one advice to all the students who's watching about debt and about paying things back or like about money in general? Correct, correct. I think these are the things that you should start thinking about uh, uh, after you have a job or after you have the offer. Uh, the first thing that you need to think about is uh, what is your profile today? And if uh, if you were to be a hiring manager uh, based on your resume, would you hire yourself? Uh, if yes, that's good. If not, uh, try to close the gap and think about the money later. First, uh, work on yourself. That will get you the job and uh, the rest of things will work out for you accordingly. Sweet. Thanks, Jay, for coming on and talking to us about it. Um, that's that's all the questions I had, man. Thank you so much for being here, taking your time out on a Monday evening. And um, <laughs> yeah, thank you.